Hi there YouTubers, this is uh, just a pretty quick video about my uh, nephew's uh, 6N2 Polo uh, which has an ABS um, uh, light on. The appears to be the rear uh, ABS sensors and you can see they're fixed here. Uh, I think it's a T30 Torx screw that holds it in place. So I'll be taking that in, out in a moment and showing you how to um, test the sensors. Then people, this is um, the new, new uh, ABS sensor, uh, obviously the rear one. Now the connections for these in these uh, 6N2 Polos live underneath the back seats. Um, straight, there's, there they are there, that's the existing one plugged in. Um, obviously we've owned this before, it's had a horse or something because there's hay everywhere, but more worryingly it's my nephew's car, it's a jar of Vaseline underneath. What's that all about? Anyway, joking aside, the way to, to test these, these sensors is to I'll put the camera down, balanced on my knee, not very successfully, is to put your test meter set onto ohms and plug them into the back of the connectors so you can get on, on there without damaging the connector. You do need to push fairly hard. Darn thing doesn't want to make a connection. Right. There we go now. Set on ohms. Yeah, that's reading but just over 1100 uh, K ohms, which is around about what these kind of sensors measure. You can probably find the specs somewhere on the internet. So, I'm not going to go on and fit this one now into the hub. I had to smash the old one out because they, they, they rust in and pinch in. I wound up taking the brake drum off and poking it with screwdrivers and all sorts of things, so break it up and get it out. There we go. Well, here's the remnants of the old one. I had to batter to get out, and you can see what they're basically composed of is uh, a load of very fine copper wires. It's, it's basically a, a pulse generator as the uh, the, the ABS wheel spins around. It, it, it generates AC pulses, which is how the, uh, the ECU knows whether the wheel's spinning or not. Um, Here's the new one, ready to go in. Um, I've uh, given it a little tiny smear of copper slip because like I said they do tend to rust in so it goes in just about in there. A little wiggle. Pop the screw back in. To screw them in place. The cable has got a couple of little uh, plastic clips that keep it in place and a little rubber bung where it goes through the car body under the seats. So that cable tucks down in that clip there. A little bit further around there, there's a plastic tray thing that it sits in all the way round, like so. A bit difficult to do one handed, but you get the idea. And then we'll get up inside and uh, fish the cable out. So that's some sort of ready in there. We'll go up. A little bit more fiddle around here. But that's how it lives anyway. I mean, if you were frightened it's going to come out, I'd be inclined to put a couple of tie wraps around it just to make sure it doesn't go flopping down into the road. I think we're going to have to do this with two hands off camera. Seems to be pretty determined to not want to sit in there, but certainly, like I said, I'll be putting a tie wrap in there if it doesn't want to go. Um, I said earlier, um, oh, when I was reading it with a meter, I sort of 1100 ohms. Uh, that's not correct. That was 1.1 1 
1.1k ohms, 1.1 thousand ohms. So um, hopefully when we're all done and it's all back together, we're all back on and all the rest of it, all the ABS uh, uh, fault will clear and uh, the job will be a good one. Here we go then, um, proof of the pudding as it was. I've just, just driven the car up the road and once I drove it a little bit, as you can see the ABS light goes out, engine running, all the lights go out, even the handbrake light. So that was a job well, well done I guess, took a bit longer than I figured, but it's sort of, um, I think it was £9 delivered um, from eBay, the, uh, the sensor. Uh, probably a considerable saving on uh, what you'd have to cough up in your average garage. There we go folks, catch you later.